welcome to a healthy conversation. Welcome to a healthy conversation. Thank you. <laughs> so last week, well, actually for the last couple episodes, we've been talking about the power of why. And I get a little bit of ribbing. He's been nice to me on camera, actually, because I get a little bit of ribbing about the questions that I ask, um, probably because they're incessant. Um, never stop. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I told him, I said, maybe I never left my toddler stage. You know, when the five-year-old says why, and you tell them, and they say why, and you tell them, and they say why. Um, we really believe, all joking aside, that why is a pretty important question. It is. When it comes to your health. So we promised that we would talk about the four basic supplements you need. And I am going to use the word need because these are the supplements that do help. You do want them as part of your life. There are four simple products. So you educate and I'll ask questions. Okay. As I joke with all my customers, everybody is like a deer in the headlights when they walk into a nutrition store. We have 50 feet of supplements. Where do you start? Well, I always say start with the basic, basic, simple things. Basic, basic, simple things are a high potency multivitamin, our Ultralife 121. How do we know a vitamin is high potency? Because well, people go to Walmart and CVS and wherever and get vitamins. Once again, everything that we take out there in the mass market is geared to that RDA st standard, recommend daily allowance standard. That's a minimum standard that you need just to keep you from getting sick. Now, when you say mass market, just so these guys know. Walmart and Kmart and Rite Aid and all those so places. So it's got, a, it's got this RDA thing on there. So you're looking at a bottle of vitamins thinking, this is great. It's got 100%. It says 100%. Right. But right. that's just enough to keep you from dying. Yeah, that's not the standard. Good. Exactly. Give you an example. Our multivitamin, Ultralife 121, which we des I designed it, 121 milligrams of B-complex. B vitamins, good for your central nervous system. They feed your brain. They're good for cognitive things. Which is the of highest B complex you can find a on the market in a multivitamin exactly. on the planet. So, high potency. 121 milligrams against two that's found in the centrum or centrum silver. Enough said. Okay. okay. Second one, fish oil or flax oil. Why is that? Because those are anti-inflammatory fats. And contrary to what we've heard, about cholesterol being the bad guy, all the new research says it's really the inflammatory process, which is what we're doing to ourselves from all the bad fats, all the trans fats. Now, I don't know if you remember, but I asked you a long time ago, what's inflammation and how do you describe it? You got a little exasperated with me. You said, ah, oh. inflammation in its simplest form, so that you can understand it, is something that doesn't feel right in your body. It might be pain. It could be a burning sensation, it could be an irritation, but the thing we need to remember is that our bodies talk to us. And if you've got any kind of discomfort, pain, burning sensation, whatever, even a little twitch of something, your body is talking to you, yeah. saying something's wrong. And I don't know what percentage of the time, but a very high percentage of the time, that's inflammation. Well, the inflammation that we have, there's two different types. There's chronic inflammation, which is what we're doing to our bodies on a daily basis because of all the stuff we're taking, all yep. the bad fats. There's acute inflammation, which is relatively good. It's how our body repairs it itself heal, yeah. from injury or infections. So we just have to stay away from the things that make us very inf inflamed inside, which one of the big things we can do is taking fish oil or flax oil because those are anti-inflammatory fats. Okay. So now we have the multivitamin yep. and we have the anti-inflammatory fats. The yep. third one is calcium and magnesium and some vitamin D. Okay. okay. Most of us are lacking calcium. Most of us are lacking magnesium. Now, anytime you take a calcium supplement. This is important, what he's about to say. You always want to make sure that you take magnesium with it. Why is that? Because magnesium keeps the calcium mobile in your body. Otherwise, it can cake up. Kidney stones, all kinds of na nasty things start happening. Now, it's equally as important when you start taking vitamin D, which is actually the fourth thing. Now, what we've been told that we need for vitamin D is way under from what we really need. And the reason I can say that is because just about all physicians out there, when you go in for a physical, they're testing for vitamin D levels. Mm -hmm. yeah. Most of us need about four to 5,000 units of vitamin D3, that's a natural source of vitamin D, to really raise up our immunity, our infection fighting properties, and also anti-cancer properties. So why for vitamin D is raising the immune system, cancer fighting properties, 
I mean, you're, you're giving some why. Now. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And let's go back to calcium for just a second because I didn't question. Now, we all think bones. We know our bones get healthier with the calcium and magnesium. What else? Why should I take calcium? Well, calcium is a very relaxing mineral as well as magnesium. Now, magnesium also regulates the electrical impulses in your body, so it's very hard very very good to take it for your heart function because you have a lot of electricity in your heart. So if we encapsulate these four SUPs, we've got a high potency multivitamin. multivitamin. We're a fan of ours because it's got more B complex than any on the market. Exactly. Um, you want flax or fish, right? Exactly. Uh, and that's really going to be good for the inflammation that you feel in your system, that you experience in your system and you feel with manifested symptoms. Also, when you look at the way God designed our bodies, 60% of our brain is fat, and 60% of what so our heart runs on for energy is good fish, fat too. Good for your brain, good for your heart. Exactly. Uh, D, good for your heart, good for anti-cancer, right? And calcium, good for the heart, good for the bones. So you recommend these It's also these relaxing for too. Relaxing, you're yes. looking at, he's giving me a look Nothing like I need to relax, relax or something. <laughs> okay, so really, you guys got to see this. This is really how we dialogue. I ask questions and uh, I think, I don't know, I'm just gonna say it might be better. He might be even better at what he does because of the questions that I ask sometimes. No comment. We'll see you next week. <laughs>